I feel no more to you, my reverend father. I feel no more to you, my brother priest. I feel no more to you, my brother priest. I feel no more. The Emba Mota here. The Emba Mota here. Today, first day of September. I wish you more blessings in this month. I wish you more protection in this month. In the inbound months, more blessings to you. In the inbound months, more protection for you. In the inbound months, abundant blessings to you all. Inbound months are months of protection. Inbound months are months of blessings. But there is the same month of challenges. The month of temptations are here. The month of expenditures are here. The month of accidents are here. May the Lord protect us everywhere. On our journey, protection everywhere. Everything we are doing, protection every day. Uh -huh. Bless you all, oh you my fans. May the Lord bless you all, you my dear people. The Emperor months are here. I wish you blessing, more blessing for you, protection for you, fruitfulness for you, abundant grace for you. Uh -huh. I wish you success in this Emperor months. I wish you blessing. In this ember month, I wish you protection. In this ember month, ah, thank you. Well, hello. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, dear friends in the Lord, my dear people of God, my family members, my dear colleagues in the priesthood and their religious life, pastors all over the world, the people of God, wherever we find ourselves all over the world, I greet you and I wish you today, the first day of September, a happy new month to you all. This is the ninth month of the year and it begins today, the first day of the month of September. Remember this three to Four months are popularly known as the ember months. The ember months in their endings, their suffixes ember, shows that we have September, October, November, and December. I wish to use this opportunity to greet all of you with a spirit of love. Thanking the Almighty Father, our great God, our Creator, who has led us through to see this day, the first day of the ninth month of the year, September. Remember, it is the, the months that school sometimes will resume. We pray for our school children, our students, as they prepare to go back to school. May the Lord bless you and fill you with great knowledge of wisdom, the strength to read your books and pass your examinations. Congratulations, all you students and pupils. We thank everybody. We in the church, we are experiencing the harvest. I wish all the church people all over the world, the Christians who have begun their harvest celebrations, family harvest, children harvest. I wish you success in your harvest celebrations. Let it be a divine fruitfulness, divine blessings upon all that we do in the church today. Let us continue to thank God, having experienced the end of the eight months, the month of August that just passed yesterday. We we'll thank God for the life He has given to us. I wish to pray for you to share in your joy, to share in your suffering, to share in your penance. 
to share in everything that you are going to do. Do not complain, do not grudge, do not murmur. Be a happy child of God. Thank Him in all circumstances of your life, whether good or bad. Thank God. But let me also advise that this is a time for temptation. The end by months are times, period of temptations. More travelings here and there. We pray that God will grant you journey message wherever you go. Sometimes accidents are always on the increase in this month because people are rushing here and there to do one particular business or the other, to engage in one assignment or the other. So we are always in a hurry. All you drivers, drive with care. And I pray God to send the angel, the angel of the way to bless and take care of you, the drivers. To give you the knowledge to pilot the affairs of the vehicles so that your life will be preserved and be saved and the life of those you carry. If you are a passenger, drivers or commercial drivers, please drive with care. Or private drivers, drive with care. The Okadas, the cyclist riders, I pray for you that God will guide you all throughout your journeys. Do not be too much in his that you will carry somebody and hit on the ground and destroy the life of somebody. Please drive with care. May the archangel Raphael, the angel of the way, take care of you. I know this month, step by step, will lead us to the months of the incarnation, where we welcome our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of glory, who comes to save us. Emmanuel being born in Bethlehem. May the Lord help us to live to see the great celebration of the coming of God among men. Live to see the months. We pray that God will help you to see the end of all these months, the end of September, the end of October, the end of November and the end of December that will usher in the new year that is anticipated to come. Let the Lord bless you in all your anticipations, in all your dealings. May the Lord guide you. May he bless you. May he direct your ways. But above all, do not be afraid. May the Lord Jesus carry you along as he carried the apostles in the Sea of Galilee to cross to the other side. Be strong and do not be afraid. I pray that God will bless you in all your endeavors. God will enrich you in your business. God will enrich you in your farm work. God will enrich you in all your social dealings, both political engagement, religious engagement, all events that you are going to undertake, to undertake all throughout this period. May the Lord bless you. Let the Lord be in control of all that you are going to do. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads. Let me pray for you in this month. Almighty God, our great creator, our savior, our great God, the God that directs, the God that controls the entire universe. I placed the life of my fellow human beings, your fellow, my fellow people and your children into your hands. Take us and hold us tight. Do not allow us to be destroyed or to fall by the wayside and remain. Step by step, take us along. You know, the end by months are months of challenges, months of trials, months of temptations. Help us to live to see the end of all these months. Thank you, Father. Thank you in everything. And my dear people, bow your heads and receive your blessing wherever you are. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you, a Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.